Alright, so let's check out Horizon, ticker symbol Zen. So one of you yesterday asked me to cover this and what my opinions on this coin are. So, you know, I haven't actually heard of this coin before, so I am literally providing you a unbiased perspective of what I see in the market from a technical standpoint. So I did, you know, a tiny, tiny bit of research on what this coin does. It's rank 129. The market cap is very, very cheap to be fair. I mean, it's less than half a million dollars. Fully diluted, it's almost a billion but you know nonetheless uh, less than half a million market cap at the moment so uh, circulating supply is about 58% and you know just from what I can see on what Zen does it is it, it's basically um, a crypto aiming to solve the scaling and security issues around Ethereum so uh, if we do zoom out on you know the all-time chart you can see this coin has been around since 2017 now I, I would kind of argue that what issues has this coin solved since 2017 because you know ethereum hasn't scaled at all it hasn't done anything at all so it, it doesn't really seem like this coin has integrated uh you know too too much with ethereum but that is just my perspective on what i've seen from the brief research i've done on it you know it might pop off that's i'm not saying it won't go up uh, from an investment perspective but from a fundal uh, from a fundamental perspective uh, considering it's meant to solve scaling issues and Ethereum has done absolutely nothing since 2017 I, I wouldn't you know be the biggest fan on this coin so uh, from a completely technical perspective once again unbiased because I don't hold any of this coin and you know personally I, I don't really plan on accumulating this coin so in the short term or you know starting off with the macro term uh, if we do look at the fib from the start of the bull market to the all-time high you can see it's it's, you know it never returned to the all-time high since its pump in november so it's it's kind of losing its um its momentum really you know if we come over to bitcoin uh, you can see you know most of these charts including bitcoin they had an all-time high came down and made new all-time highs uh, a lot of altcoins specifically took off during that period uh, but this coin has lost a lot of momentum so uh, looking at this from a Fibonacci perspective, in the macro perspective, we are below the 786 right now. Even if I, you know, do move this up to here, there's there's nowhere else that I can really draw this from, in my opinion. I mean, I could draw it down here, but personally, I just I would prefer to draw it from the start of the uptrend. And even if I do draw it from, you know, all the way back here to try and make this look bullish i mean there's no way that you can draw this to make this chart look bullish unfortunately so uh, in the short to mid term we are below the 786 and the 618 so in my opinion you know we are just doing absolutely nothing until we do get above the 786 uh we're currently back testing it now we back tested it the other day so the 786 is round about 41 dollars or you know yeah basically just exactly 41 dollars so if i mark that for you you can see that this is the key area that i have my eyes on right now besides this being the 786 it was strong resistance here strong support here strong support here and strong support here and once we did break below it it was strong resistance resistance and we're bashing our head against this uh this resistance right now so you know this this chart there's not too too much to say i mean i could uh, i could come over to the weekly and check out the high kanashis on the weekly and see if any momentum has changed if we do look at the weekly high kanashi candles you can see Haikanashi's work with this pretty well. So if you've watched my Haikanashi video, you know that I talk about specifically on the weekly. Uh, momentums normally change after two consecutive green candles or two consecutive red candles, discounting doji candles. So uh, if you didn't know, doji candles are these kind of candles here that you know have a big kind of spinning top and a small candle body like that. So we don't count those. Looking at the Haikanashis on the weekly, you can see, you know, we've been in a solid downtrend since uh, the all-time high here on the 22nd of November. We've been going down since then. We haven't had any bullish price momentum come in. There is only selling volume right now. The money flow indicators falling off the table, meaning people are basically dumping this coin. So that's pretty much it for the long term. If we do come back into the short term, this, uh, I mean, this isn't a W pattern. We made a 
a low down here so I mean I mean technically this could be a W pattern but it would be a very w ugly W pattern if we did break out um, not saying that we can't but you know specifically I would not be getting out of bed until we have a strong break above 41 and in my opinion as a conservative trader I would like to see a breakout of this kind of ugly W pattern that we've got here so if we take a horizontal ray I think if we did manage to get above $50, we would have some strong momentum pushing to the upside. If I did take a tool, dragged it to the top of this W, you can see we would have a bullish breakout target of 79. But as this W pattern is so whack, I mean, I personally wouldn't really be counting on uh, this W pattern playing out. You know, I would just be sitting on the sidelines for this. Uh, I, if you've been watching my videos for the past few weeks, you know I've been sitting on the sidelines for altcoins because the Bitcoin dominance is above the 200 day moving average. So while this is above the 200 day, Bitcoin is most likely to outperform these altcoins. So you can see Bitcoin has had a huge, huge rally. Uh, a lot of altcoins are being left in the dust and specifically Zen. I mean, we've not done too, too much. I think if we take a chart... I mean, to be fair, we've, we've gone up 26%, but this, this coin is very volatile. And I mean, in the past couple of weeks, we were up here at 60. So if we do just kind of zoom out and look at this from uh, a non-biased perspective, we can tell we have a top here. We've got a top here, a top here, 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 here. And, you know, I mean, we haven't necessarily topped out right now. We may have, but, you know, just do... Uh, if we do zoom down, you know, you could even potentially see a move up to something like... 47 48 and that would still technically be a lower high so what i would be looking for is a break above the neckline of this w pattern which is at basically 50 so rounding up to 50 once we do get above 50 i believe some momentum would come in i'm personally not going to buy this coin i'm not going to accumulate it it's not really a coin that i would want to have in my portfolio but you know it could potentially be a coin that i would consider longing if we did break out of this $50 but until we do break above 50 we are just in a steep downtrend right now I mean we've broken all market structures there's, there's literally no way I can draw this fib to make it look bullish whatsoever we're below all the key support that we want to be above if we do take a fib retracement from the from the top to the bottom you can see um, lining up nicely with where the start of this W pattern comes in we do also have a big range of resistance at the top of where this w starts the uh 236 here and also the 618 here so i mean uh personally in my opinion the risk adjusted returns of this coin are just not really worth it right now i do believe you know if we do break above this big red box we could have a strong rally you know a massive push up uh, i wouldn't want to put a price prediction on it simply because you know, uh, from what I can see on this coin, I am not the biggest fan of the layout of the chart. We do have resistance coming in here, 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 the 200 day moving average right here. And after we get above that, I mean, I, I would like to see a break above the 618, at which point I think we could probably break above the 200 day moving average. But all in all, I mean, you know, we are just making lower lows in the macro trend. Uh, even if I do just take a very basic trend line with only, you know, two or three touch points, we, we could still be in a downtrend even if we come back up to like 100. So uh, I'm not a fan of the layout of this chart, but, you know, if you are holding this uh, this coin, you know, specifically to the person who asked me to cover this, I do wish the best for you. Uh, but, you know, this is just what I see from a unbiased perspective, considering I don't hold this coin or planning on trading this coin. You know, this should just provide provide you a fresh perspective on uh, what you could potentially be seeing coming in the market. So uh, in the short term, if we do break above 50, so be it, we could see, you know, potentially a rally up to 70. But like I said, there's so much resistance coming in once we do break above these two levels that personally, I would be waiting until we do get above 70 on the 200 day moving average. And if we do get a rejection from 40 or 50, uh, if we do take a fib, let's see, on the micro term, so from here to here, 
because I mean we're we're running out of fibs down here. I mean technically, if we we've already invalidated this uh, this fib here, so I can I could I, I'll pretty much get rid of this if we keep going below the seven eight six in my next video for this. But the next target, if we do get rejected from the forty one, uh, we've already double bottomed here. So I, I do believe you know triple bottom is. Uh, way less unlikely than a double bottom so you know personally if we do roll over here I would be expecting us to come down to 18 which I think is what's that a 50% drop from 50% drop from where we are now if we come up to this orange box here at the 786 and get another rejection it is basically a 55% drop so uh, I would talk about the money flow indicator but if we come over to the daily get a more clear view of the chart so before i looked at this coin i did notice you know the money flow indicator previously did indicate all of these bottoms down here did indicate an uptrend but bear in mind this was in the middle of a bull run so you know uh, a lot of the time money flow indicator and rsi bottoming wherever it does is in a bull market you know good enough for a bull market but when we're in somewhat uncertain territory with you know the global markets right now being quite unsure what's going on uh, if we do look at the money flow indicator you can see that we had one bottom down here so right here we had a bottom on the money flow indicator at 57 and you can see we rolled all the way down to 30 here we had a bottom on the money flow indicator literally at the top here at like 60 so you know this was saying you know we've this is the bottom for the money flow indicator no no one's going to be selling and then we came down to 30 which is like a 50 percent drop uh, we have bottomed again on the money flow indicator but you know like i said as a conservative trader i would need to see all of this resistance broken before i even consider entering in a short position so uh, that's pretty much all i see for horizon ticker symbol zen like i said best of luck to you if you are holding this token uh, this is just my opinion on the market from an unbiased perspective so once again none of this is financial advice this is just my opinion on the market and you've always got to do what's best for you peace